I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Siamese Force because we're going to pre-select categories and force hands in these categories. This exercise is great for building the skill in forcing hands. So if you ever have an opportunity to play in a tournament, you'll be ready. Many times, organizers will pre-select categories in the first player to declare Mahjong on any of the categories that have been pre-selected will win a prize. If you have a set of towels at home, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. These are the categories we're going to force. We will alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So I'll get 28 tiles, then 27, back to 28. All right, we have jokers, north, west, south, pair south, pair of green dragon. In cracks, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A run of seven tiles, all singles. In dots, we have one, two, four, six, eight, pair of one dots. In bams, we have three, four, five, seven, nine pairs of threes and sevens. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force? We need two, two categories. If these were my tiles, I think I would play wins and dragons and odds. We do have a gap though. Let's see how this works. Okay, we could play odd concealed, one, three, five, five, seven, nine. We have a gap, no flowers, but they will come. There's eight flowers and only two players. We'll at least get one, you would think. And then for this one, I think I would play probably news focused hand. And then if we build up dragons, we could play news with dragons or we could play north and south with the year. So I would keep year tiles. And that way we could focus on wins and dragons and odds. Use these for joker bait. Let's see. There is a slight potential for three, six, nine. And that is a category on our card. We have a multiple here and we do have sixes. So maybe hold those since we have so many discards. I think it'd be good to have a plan B because we could maybe play three, six, nine. There's three, six, nine, six tiles. Here we have seven. One, three, five, five, seven, nine flowers. So I think I would hold three, six, nine for plan B. Anytime you have a lot of discards, come up with a plan B for one of your hands, maybe the weakest hand. Since we have a gap of no flowers, I would say that would probably be here. So I would say this would be a good set of tiles for odds and wins and dragons. If you would do something different, write it in the comment section below. 
This is random pull one. For force two, we have a joker, three flowers, northwest-south pair of north. In cracks, we have two, three, five, six, eight pairs of fives and eights. In dots, we have one, two, three, four, six, nine pairs of sixes and nines. And in bams, we have one, two, four, five singles. So with these tiles, which of these categories would you force? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play three, six, nine, and then a year hand. Three, six, nine, one suit, flowers. Or we could use these up here for the year hand and play something in mixed suits. Three, six, six, nine, first hand. And then up here, probably news concealed with year tiles. And I would just hold all the twos and see which build up. Use these two as joker bait and discard those first. So we have, that's not bad, nine discards, including joker bait. That's really not too bad of a plan. We do have a couple of extra because we won't be able to use all of these. But it's good to have plan B, especially if you have a lot of discards. But I think this is doable. Year 369. If you would do something different, write it in the comment section below. I just noticed we do have four, five, six consecutive run. Either way, we would have another multiple to let go. I think three, six, nine is good though. And three, six, nine is a challenging category. Here we have no gaps, even though there's no gaps with four, five, six, but we have no gaps and another plan. I think this is what I would do. Okay, on to force three. Jokers, flowers, east and south, green dragon, red dragon, pair of green dragons. In cracks, we have one, two, four, five, six, seven. In dots, we have one, two, five, six, nine, pair two, pung, five. And in bams, we have two, three, five, pair of twos. So we need to force consecutive run and like numbers. How would you do it? If these were my tiles, I would play like numbers with twos and consecutive run with five through seven.
like numbers with twos and dragons. And I have a different idea about these dragons here. We'll see. Down here, five, six band, five, six dot, pair seven, concealed. We have a gap, but we can use jokers. I would keep the five, six for another plan because one thing we could do is switch five, six, or let's see, five, like numbers with fives, and then do something consecutive with one, two, three, four. So maybe discard those. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe play like numbers with twos and then consecutive five, six, seven dragons. Pung, pair, pung, pung, pung. Five, six, seven dragons with those jokers. So I would hold all these tiles and start here. So consecutive options with one through four and then like numbers with fives. Probably not with the dragons because of the five dot. But I think this might work. Five, six, five, six, seven, and like numbers with twos. Discard these. Like numbers in consecutive run. If you would do this differently, let me know in the comment section below. Write force three and what you would do with these tiles. That's what I would do. Siamese Mahjong is very flexible. You have 28 and 27 tiles respectively, so you can make just about anything work. If you build around the strength of a hand, you're likely to build your hand quickly. If you're forcing a hand, it could take a little bit of time, but still look for the strength of the hand so that you can make decisions on that if possible if it fits one of those pre-selected categories. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.